Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are standing right in front of the next boss fight, the final boss fight of uh, this area. And since we are pretty much done with everything else in this area, we uh, can start this episode with a boss fight. And of course I'm going to deactivate the heart so I can get my thumbnail. Uh, what do I have? Shit. Okay, there we go. I forgot what I had equipped and wasted an Estos flask. Oh well. It's one of these things. No, it's... Armor. A set of armor. Uh-oh. Ow. Well, dude. Wearing some armor. Hold on. Ow. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ow. Uh, no, shit. Give me a second. Uh, hot, 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 there we go. The Dragon Slayer armor. So, clearly, this fight is a reference to Ons, uh, to Ornstein. Because the armor looks kinda similar to Ornstein's armor, and it's called Dragon Slayer armor. He also uses electricity. Which is a far better way to do it than what Dark Souls 2 did. Because they just straight up reused Ornstein. With a different color. Okay, um. I suck at this fight, which, uh. You may notice. Oh boy. I do hope I got a good thumbnail from you. Oh. Okay, now this. He's entering a second phase, but the animation he uses to get to the second phase. Is. A huge fucking troll, because it looks like he's getting staggered, but uh, no, he's doing an attack. And what's so special about the second phase is that the giant, whatever they are, ouch, are now helping him. Giant fucking three butterfly things in the back. Yeah, these guys. Also, um... And the lore of this boss is that he's literally just a set of armor, there's no one inside him. And he's being controlled by those butterfly things. Um, I may have a problem. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you, you can see that I fucking suck at this fight. Come on. I can hear his friends, ouch, getting ready to do another attack. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, shit. Well, fuck. Damn, I didn't remember that I was this bad at this fight. Fucking hell. It's not even that hard, I just suck at it. Crap. Oh, but hey, you can see... Uh, the boss arena from down here, that's cool. Shit. Let me tell you one thing, if there's... One... Thing I like about Elden Ring... Then it's that they basically got rid of boss runs, because... Come on. Who needs fucking boss runs? Just makes everything more exhausting. Okay, okay, got it. Decent start, I'm out of stamina, yeah. Fucking hell. Why did I take so much damage? I swear I didn't take that much damage in my first attempt, did I? Damn. Attempt number three. Maybe I'll finally manage to get back into this guy's fucking rhythm. I think my main problem is that I'm way too greedy. Oh, uh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, I'm way too fucking greedy. Oh my god, I don't know, that didn't hit me. Hey, come on, come on. He's hiding behind his shield. Sadly, I don't think that you can break his stamina if you hit his shield often enough. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's possible. Oh fuck! This guy hits like a 
fucking truck. Ow. I said, no, no. Can't dodge this fucking attack. Yeah, leave me alone. Come on. Uh, his fucking friends are not making this any easier. Fucking death lasers. Okay, okay, okay. Just be patient. I said be patient. I was not being patient. I should listen to what I say. My brain should actually listen to the things that come out of my mouth. Dump the owl! Okay. Rogers, fuck. How can I suck this much at this particular fight? Why this fight? Like, why specifically this guy? Ow! Fucking hell. Okay, come on, come on. Big guy! Ah, fuck. I spammed the dodge roll and it worked. Ow, I couldn't really see anything just now. Okay, nasty little combo. Come on, I nearly got him. Oh, there we go. And now his friends are gonna die as well. For some reason, I think. I mean, I just destroyed their puppet. I don't know why. It... I don't know. They're not gonna bother me anymore, that's what counts. Alright, um... You may remember how I said that there is a lot of bonfires in this game and that the distance between bonfires isn't usually that large or that significant. But that's gonna change now, because after this bonfire, we are not going to see a, ne a new bonfire for the next couple of hours. It's gonna take ages. We're gonna have to go through this entire area Without ever seeing a single shortcut ever again. And it's, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> come on. You can literally see... Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Grand Archives key and... Gotthard Twin Swords. Nice. I think that's an elevator we can't use yet. Yep. Well, we are now in the final main area of the entire game. Excluding the DLCs and one more optional area. The Grand Archives. It's like Thieves Archives, but better. What are you doing here? Are you related to the crystal uh, to the crystal sage? I don't want to upset you, but I think I may have killed your brother. All right, no, I can hear him again. Oh, and you guys! Oh, I sure as hell missed you guys. Oh, I'm so excited to see you again. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Could you stop that? Hey, go away! No, no. Piss off. Fucking rude. More stuff I don't need. Let's see, I can still hear this fucker. Spamming his magic. Come on, we got new enemies. And they- Ooh, one hit. And they are covered in cum. Uh, hooray! But I did assume that they tank a little more. Not just one hit. Although I won't complain. Yep, I won't complain. Okay, you tank a bit more because your head is on fire, I guess. And we... Can also dunk our head in wax. For some reason. I, it has... A, I know it has an effect, but I don't exactly know 
what it does. It's not like enemies now uh, don't spot me anymore or something like that, but I know it has. I think, if I remember correctly, hold on. I'm gonna explain it to you once we see it. Or I guess we won't see it. Because I have the wax on my head. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyways. See the way forward is right here. And I can hear some crystal lizards. Or titanite lizards, I think their name is. One right here and the other one is right here. Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, alright. You see these arms? Normally, these arms would damage me and even inflict a curse. But as long as you have wax on your head, they can't uh, hurt you. That's what it does, I remember. Okay, and that is going to make exploring this area a lot easier. Witches logs, a fucking whip. Or within. Whips are probably the weakest and most useless weapons in all Souls games. Right next to bows and crossbows. Hello, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. I wonder what the lore of these arms is. Did they just suck souls out of their victims and put them in these books? Is that it? I do not junk. Ah, shit, I can hear the fucking. Wizard again. Ow. He's right up there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to pay him a visit or else he's gonna be on my ass the entire time. Let's see. If we go up here. Then I should be able to reach him so I can kick his fucking ass. How did that miss? Hey, come on, don't teleport away. Don't teleport away. No, 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 no. One hit. One more hit. And I know that he stays dead when we kill him. He doesn't respawn. I really wanna kill him. I really wanna fucking murder him. Just as much as you guys. Oh, I don't have any more Estus Flask left. How did that happen? Fuck, I had like 14. Where did all of my Estus Flask go? Wait, did I not sit down at the bonfire after I killed the Dragon Slayer armor? Is that it? Well, I may be fucking stupid. The fuck is the range on these things? Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Um. Let me try something. Let me try something. Okay, you stay right there. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Oh, that's pathetic, actually. <sighs> Moonlight arrows, perhaps? Come on, big guy. Oh, really? There we go. That's still pathetic. What the fuck? Come on. Ah. Uh, great arrows. Lightning arrow. Not like I'm gonna use them for anything else. Eh. Uh, what? Ah. Uh. Okay, 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 I get it. I get it. How about this then? Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, 
This shouldn't be that difficult. Even got a fat roll now. Oh, come on. Come on. Fine. I wanna use a bow, but the game doesn't let you. Oh, fuck, my fucking wax is gone. Whoops. Didn't notice that. We nearly got cursed. Whoops. Okay, no. I'm gonna have to kindly ask you to piss off. Thank you. Okay, now I should be able to explore this area in peace. But before I continue exploring this area, I wanna unlock one more shortcut. One more shortcut, that would be nice. Is that an enemy I see? What is that? Oh, it's those guys. Ugh. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Enjoying the view? But I have a problem with that. Because it involves you breathing, and that's that's the issue. Okay, now you can enjoy the view. There's nothing out here. Oh, but this guy drops a refined gem. Oh, I see. I see. Cool. Okay, let me try and find a shortcut I could potentially unlock. Or maybe I'm just gonna check what's down here. Titan out, Lizard! Cool. Then... It seems like that's it. Am I on the bottom floor? Where am I? Uh... I have no idea. Titan out, Junk. The fuck? Where am I? Ah, uh, I see. Um... You remember that lever we pulled up there? It moved this bookcase, this bookshelf right here. And revealed a hidden chest containing a titanite slab. The last item we need to fully upgrade my sword. So I'm gonna visit the filing shrine real quick. And do exactly that. We have a lot of souls to spend as well. Okay, let's see. My friend, I have brought you some things. First off, let me... Ah, oh, wonderful. Uh, then I'm gonna give you a coal. Where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down your request. But forget not, your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? Okay, it's just a coal, calm down. Just wash the abyss out of it or something, I don't care. Uh, you, I have an ash for you. Let me guess, you now sell the Xanthus set or something like that? Um, maybe? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, but she does sell the Dancer's armor. Yet she doesn't sell the Dragon Slayer armor, which is a bit weird. Oh, she also sells Gandhi's armor. But I can already tell you, there is a way to acquire the Dragon Slayer armor. But that is in the second DLC. Okay, Ludlith. Let's see. Um, Dragon Slayer Great Axe. Melted Iron Great Axe that once formed part of the Dragon Slayer armor. Thickly imbued with the power of lightning, use skill to draw upon the techniques used to slay the arch dragons. I'll take that. And then there is his shield. Dragon Slayer Great Shield. Melted iron shield that once formed part of the Dragon Slayer armor. The shield offers high protection to lightning, which the Dragon Slayer commanded as his own, and its skill has faint echoes of the Dragon Slayer's own fighting style. 
I think the Dragon Slayer they are talking about in that text is, in fact, Ordstein. Okay, um, give me a few level ups and then I'll see you back in the archives. We are back and thankfully we lowered this ladder which we can now use to get up to the second floor a bit quicker. Okay, now we can also explore this floor without constantly getting shot at by the fucking crystal sage. On what bone, which we do not need anymore. Thanks to this thing right here. More of you guys. Oh, that's great. I love seeing you guys. Every time I see one of you, I just... I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So happy that I want to fucking die. Okay, let me get my protection. How are you still able to breathe? How? You're wearing a fucking helmet and you covered it in wax. Or whatever. Oh, that's an alternate... What? You guys have a grab. You guys have a fucking grab. As if you couldn't get any worse. As if these guys couldn't get any more annoying, they had to pull out a fucking grab. Splendid. Fucking awesome. Okay, would you stop coming all over the place, please? Disgusting. Look at the fucking mess you made. Gross. Fucking gross. And they even set their fucking heads on fire. I don't want any part of this, 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 uh, whatever you're doing here. Just keep me out of it. Okay, now I gotta kill these guys again, I'm afraid. But I can do so without the fucking Crystal Sage. Ain't the world a lovely place. Fuck off. Ooh, fucking executed. Yeah, that's right. And you as well, piss off. Okay, now there's an invisible wall right here, but I'm afraid that if I remember correctly, yep, yeah, there's one more irrefill, uh, whatever they. The name is fucking hyper aggressive ice dudes. I don't that's what I'm gonna call them, cause that's what they are. Ow! Okay, come on. Good thing I can sometimes stun him, which makes us much easier than I thought. All right, Outrider Knights. That's their name. And I think I'm gonna read their lore. Armor of an Irrefil Outrider Knight, enveloped in a dimly cool air. The knights were given the eyes of the pontiff, but the eyes transformed them into savage, raving warriors who only knew how to serve as mindless guards. As that is a very, very fancy armor set though. What do we have here? A soul stream, alright. Anything else? Nope. Cool. Very nice. Then let us now go higher. I'm not here to read books. I'm here to meet Prince Lothric and tell him to get his fucking ass on the fucking throne and do his job as a Lord of Cinder. I mean, I mean, can you blame the guy? I think I wouldn't want to set myself on fire and sit next to a fucking bonfire until I die. I'd, I wouldn't want to turn into fucking kindling. Just to keep this age going for a few more years, way longer than it should have, by the way. The age of fire should have ended long ago and you can see that. 
if you just look at this world, how fucked up everything is because the Age of Fire was drawn out for way too long. I think the best ending you could do in the Souls games is just to get um, the um, the Age of Dark ending in Dark Souls 1. It's obviously not canon or else Dark Souls 2 and 3 wouldn't exist. But if you're looking for a quote-unquote happy ending, I think that's the way to go. Because it might sound bad, but I don't think that the Age of Dark is actually something bad. Because... Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh really? Yeah, now you see what happens when you get cursed. You just turn into a bunch of crystals and die instantly. But yeah, the Age of Dark, it might sound bad, but it really isn't, because the Age of Fire is just the Age of Gods, and the next age, the Age of Dark, would be the Age of Man and Humanity. So, oh my fuck. <laughs> I think I just lost 60,000 souls. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that stings. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, anyways. Age of Dark, basically just Age of Mankind, because... Um, I don't know the exact lore. I may just be talking bullshit right now, but... As far as I know, the Age of Dark ain't nothing bad. It's the, it's just the next step of the world that should have happened a long long time ago all right i'm gonna send this back down just to be just to make sure man this place is fucking huge what you reading in here huh oh just stop doing that all these fucking arms. Okay, I, I'm done here anyways. I don't need to deal with you guys. I'll just be on my way. Oh. Titanite lizard. Can I kill it even though I don't need it? Okay, that may have been a fucking mistake. Mm, ah, uh, ah uh, fuck, shit. Ah, fuck. No. Mm. God damn it. Well, it seems like I missed a chest right here, so I guess it's a good thing that I died. Titanite scales, ugh. I don't think I ever saw this chest ever before. I think that's the first time I discovered that thing. Alright, um, now to that ring we got, the flesh bite ring. One of the bite rings native to Karim. Raises poison, bleed, frost and curse resist. The crafting of these rings is forbidden, perhaps owing to a fear of malleable stone. Clerics, however, dab dabble freely in the art. Fucking clerics, man. Okay, we are back outside. There's more of these fucking butterflies flying around. But as long as they ignore me, I should be fine. Oh, fuck. You're not a butterfly. You may be a bit more dangerous. And definitely a lot more sturdy. Could you stop hiding behind your wing, please? Thank you. And adios. Oh, I just saw that those guys have human skulls as heads. That's neat. What a view. Now this building over there, that's our goal. And we are getting very, very close to our goal. Is there an item down there? Oh fuck. More gargoyles! I sure do love gargoyles. Okay, they really, really aren't that big of a deal. Uh, okay, I can go over here for a secret. 
possibly. Oh no. Do we have to? Can't we talk about this? Can't we just talk about this like civilized man? No, don't. Don't do that. Well, he attacked me first, so... Okay, where exactly am I? Looked like an illusionary wall, but it isn't. Oh, come on. Leave me alone, you fucking things. Just leave me the fuck alone already. Where am I? I can't remember ever exploring this place. Oh, cool. The last undead bone shot in the entire game. And I think I now know where I am. Yeah, I know exactly where I am now. Cool. Um, that means the way forward is through that window, so I'm gonna take a look at... Oh! Shotcut. I'm gonna go through here first. Uh, no, that's the way forward. Okay, I... Kinda wonder what happened to that statue, not gonna lie. Oh! How about you look at that? The three idiots. This guy's wearing a armor set from Dark Souls 2, so he's got to be the biggest idiot of them all. Which means he dies first. Are you throwing poison knives at me? Really? Oh, come on, really? Why can you heal? I nearly got this fucking guy, and then he heals all my progress away. Okay, but now he's out of Estus. Could you fucking ninja weep, asshole, leave me alone while I fight someone else? Okay, you die. You die now. Oh. Fucking katana user. The katanas have no shot. Uh, no chance against my European blade. And of course, there's a mage. So we got a weep, a Dark Souls 2 player, and a mage. The unholy trinity. Reunited together in death. Okay, now we are almost done actually. I'm gonna set this elevator down because. That's the elevator that leads to the very beginning of this area. And right there... That's where we can find Prince Lovebrick. However... There's just one more thing I wanna do. That is go up here and see what I can find. Oh, would you look at that. Now these guys are stronger versions of the Fatsos we encountered a few times, the Winged Knights. And they drop a lot of souls. So if you're looking for an efficient soul farm, kill these guys. Just kill these guys. Something I think I'm gonna try and avoid because I'm probably gonna die if I fight them all at once. Not gonna lie. That is the last Esther shard we need. So we can now fully upgrade our Estus. Okay, they haven't noticed me yet. I spoke too soon. Because now they noticed me. And I don't think that I wanna fight them, to be honest. I think I'm gonna die. Uh, uh okay, I lived. I'm alive. Hunter's ring. Is that Bloodborne I see? Uh, ring engraved with a portrait of a hunter increases dexterity. The hunters serve Lothric on the fringes and in the shadows. For generations, rulers of Lothric have relied especially upon the Black Hand Hunters to punish enemies in ways that the king's three pillars cannot. 
Uh, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you three guys alone. What the fuck is this? Why is this? There's nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna have to run past you. I hope that's fine. Ow. Fuck. Oh. I will make my escape. Look at that. Divine Pillars of Light. I think we got some interesting lore we can read into right here. Miracle of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter, brings down multiple pillars of light in vicinity, so we can basically do what the Winged Knights can do. The Queen's Holy Maiden Gertrude was visited by an angel who revealed this fate, no, this tale to her. Despite. Fuck. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary man cannot decipher her fragmentary scroll, nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lothric. Oh, sh so, um, she was the one who has written all the braille tomes. Got it. Oh boy, I'm getting out of Londo flashbacks. Excuse me. Is there a problem? There is a problem down there. And I would like to deal with any problems. You shithead. That's right. Okay, um, what do we have down here? Uh, nothing? Where am I? What is this place? Huh. Oh, that's just the way back, I see. And I nearly missed these two fucking chests. I'm fucking blind. Divine Blessing. And Twinkling Titanite. Cool. Alright, uh, this seems like a perfect place to end this episode. As always, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have or had a great day. And I'll... See you all in the next one. Goodbye.